So hey, my YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is January the 17th. The time is now 4.51 p.m. Today was a chilly but beautiful Thursday all day. I am just so happy to work part of the day is over. But today's topic is going to be about the two wealthiest places that I feel is the wealthiest places in the world. And you guys are going to be amazed by what I have to say today. Now, one of the wealthiest places in the world that people do not really think about is da, da, da. it's gonna be graveyards guys graveyards that's one of the wealthiest places in the world the reason why I say that is because there's so many people who have not fully lived their life and before they could have fully lived their life they were gone when you think about it there are plenty of people out there who have passed away who had tremendous talents guys who did not you know live that full life Books un unwrote, you know, songs unwritten. I mean, guys, people who were talented. I'm talking about artists who did not fully live their dreams out. And it's so crazy because I feel like, like, you know, sometimes when people pass away, I feel like they live through us. You know, even though they have passed away, like, you know, Martin Luther King and other motivational speakers and people who did not fully, you know, live to live their full life I feel like they live on through us even though they're not here it's like they left they left that much of an influence on us but that is one of the wealthiest places in the world that a lot of people sleep on but the second wealthiest place in the world in my personal opinion dun, 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 is a library guys yes where all the books are Libraries, you know, when you go into a library, you will be amazed at how much knowledge is inside of a library, guys. If you take time to use that library card and check out some books, that can change your life forever, guys. A lot of people seem to sleep on that. You know, walking into a library, there's books on everything under the sun, even things that we probably never even thought even existed, there's books on it. You know, that's why I tell you guys, how many books have you read so far? We, we what? We on, um, let's see, the 17th of January. How many books have you read since the new year? How many books did you read last year? At the end of the day, I feel like we need to spend more time, you know, reading these books. Because honestly, knowledge is power. So it's very, very, very important for you to take the time to read some inspirational books. Some books that can take your life to a whole new level. I mean, education is the key, guys. Education is the key. And you know what? It really takes nothing to open up a book and start reading it and just soak in everything that you read it because that's what's going to help change your life. I really needed to vlog about this to let you guys know those are the two wealthiest places in the world. Uh, uh, a graveyard with people... I'm talking about the greatest of the greatest are at right now. And some of the greatest of the greatest are still alive. But the point is, it's so many books unwritten, so many songs, you know, unfinished. So many people who have not fully lived their dreams out. And guys, I feel like we owe it to them to live our dreams out, to live the best life we possibly can and help out people, as many people as we can in this world, guys. But honestly speaking, like I said before, it's time for us to start hitting up them libraries and start reading them books because that's one of the wealthiest places that a person could be on this earth. In the library, you're going to find books on everything under the sun, you know? So take the time to educate yourself. Take the time to read a book. Take the time to have some you time and just, you know what, jot down some notes from the things that you're reading because that's important in life. You want to keep that brain sharp. And in order to do that, you got to take time to learn. And within learning is reading a lot. There was a point in my life, guys, where I wouldn't pick up a book unless I was in school because I was I was mentally lazy. You know, I didn't want to have to read this and read that. But you know what I learned? When you read up on stuff that you're passionate about, things that you're interested in, it oh, it expands your mind. And then you're like, whoa, I learned so much so much about this. Well, let me see about that. You know, and then I, I became interested in things that I never thought I would be interested in. And look at me now, 30 years young, I have my own business, no children, I'm YouTubing, I'm blogging, I'm doing so many different things. And you know what opened up my mind to that? 
reading books. That opened up my mind to what's possible for my life. You know, what I can make happen for me. What's going to give my life more meaning and more value. The things that I've learned in life, guys, not only came from experiences, but it came from me reading them books. I'm telling you. So like I said before, guys, I mean, honestly speaking, guys, if it's one place I want you guys to start visit more often, it's definitely going to be the library. And I know that for some people, it's like, oh, this is so boring. But you know what? It's going to help you in the long run to educate yourself, to know what's going on, to stay on top, to give more meaning and value to your life. You know, it's going to open up your brain to a whole new level. So, guys, start going to the library more often. You need to. It's very imperative because as, as we get older, if we don't exercise that brain, I mean, what's going to happen to it? So it's up to us to keep it sharp. Hey, it is what it is. But like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, of course, visit my website at shopleveronline.com. Until next time, guys, please understand those are the two wealthiest places on earth. That's just my opinion. But until our next vlog, peace.